All right, y'all. So, bear with me. I'm trying extremely hard to make sure this is not very gimmicky and weird as every other fitness vlog that's on YouTube, it's on Facebook, it's everywhere. So just bear with me the next couple of weeks as I try and put new stuff out and hopefully you stay with me on this journey. But this video is going to go ahead and be two parts. It's going to be uh, about one, why I'm not going to be competing within the next six months to a year. And two, why competing just for experience is a really bad idea. All right, going back to why I'm not competing. I've been dealing with some injuries uh, in my shoulders and AC joints since about December. And uh, I've got to go ahead and wait till I'm fully medically cleared until I figure out what's actually wrong and how they can fix it in both my shoulders. Because I'm 21 years old and I got arthritis in both shoulders. And I've got some other stuff going on that hopefully can get cleared up. All right, two, why competing just for experience is a really, really, really bad idea. Okay, a lot of people want to compete just for experience to be like, oh, okay, I want to be able to get on stage. I want to know what it's going to be like. I want to know the, the, the prep experience. I want to know what the stage experience is. I want to maybe get a trophy. Now, they're all good reasons to compete. If you want to compete, by all means, go for it. But if you're going to compete, go to win. Compete to win. Because it's an extremely, extremely, extremely expensive thing to do. All right. In order to compete, you're going to have to, first things first, you got to, got to enter. you got to sign up for it. And if you're competing for just experience, you're not going to go for just one class. You're going to go for maybe two or three classes. And for an NPC competition, which is what most everybody does, it's the top of the line competition. NPC is $150 per class. Say you're going to do two classes, that's $300 total. Now, on top of that, you have to get an NPC card, which is about $150. So go ahead and throw that on there. That's $450 just, just to compete, just to show up and be there. Now, along with that, you got to show up with a spray tan. Because, I mean, you're going for experience, you want the full experience. Get a spray tan so that way you can show all your hard work off. That's usually about another $100. So that's $550 right there. Now, along with that, you're going to be competing usually in a another city. If you're like me, I gotta go to LA or I gotta go to San Diego to compete. So it's about 150 to another $150 just to stay in a hotel for that Friday night for check-ins and that Saturday for the competition. So go ahead and throw that on the pile. What's that bring us to? Like $600? Yeah, something like that. Okay, now from there, you, you want the full experience. You don't wanna show up half-assed, half-babes. You, you're going to need a coach. Now, a bottom line coach at a great rate for a typical 12 week prep will be about $600, which brings your total up to $1,200. Now, to go along with that, even more so of that, you have to buy your meal prep every week. You gotta, that, that's a lot of time and effort, which that's fine. Everyone can, anyone can do that. Meal prep should be just a normal everyday thing. But, all the, the food, the supplements, and everything just... Also, you're going to need a photo package because if you're competing for experience, you're going to want to get all the stage photos you can get so you can send them back to the head judge, send them to any NPC, IFBB judge, and they give you feedback for what you need to uh, go ahead and expound on and get better on. So that's another, usually about 90 to $100, depending on who does it, where you're at, where the competition is based. All right, so... If you're competing just for experience, is it really going to be worth it spending $1,000 up just for experience? So if you're like me, I'm an extremely competitive person. I want to show up. I want to be there, and I want to win no matter what. I, I, I don't want to sound gimmicky and bring up like a Rich Piana like adage, whatever it's called, but I will – I want to do whatever it takes to win, whether that's getting up at 4 a.m. to do my cardio, staying up late after work to do cardio, stuff like that. But I, I don't want to be there just for experience. A another pe reason people want to go for experience is that I want to know what it feels like to be on stage. Now, if you're doing your prep correctly, if you're doing your posing correctly, 
every day, every weekend, whatever. It should become second nature. So that when you stand up on stage in front of the judges, when you're looking the head judge in the eyes, as you're going through your movements, no matter what they are, they're second nature. Like, it should feel no different than when you're posing naked in the fucking uh, dressing room. You're posing in your underwear in a mirror room or wherever you happen to be doing it. Even if you're just a physique competitor, just rocking your shorts outside by the pool. It should be second nature, just whatever you do. So, like, a lot of times when you look in the gym, you say, oh, that guy's a douchebag because he's posing in the mirror. It's second nature for him. He can get on stage. He can hit it all day no matter what he does. It's just there. So, yeah, Jim Do shirt. Shout out, Steve Cook. All right, but those are my main reasons why if you're a young competitor and you really want to get out there for experience, you want to get out there just to be out there, to have it have one competition on your belt, don't half-ass it. Spend whatever you need to spend. Do whatever you need to do and work to make at least that top three, that top two. Because you're going to go for experience, go for the top. Get that national qualification. See if you're ready to compete at a national level and all that. That's what you really need to focus on. Because are you going to be happy spending that much money just to be out of the top five, to lose? Absolutely not. You want to show up, you want to be there, you want to win. That easy. And that those are my reasons. But to each his own. And to go on from there, um, if y'all like what I have to say, got any comments, what I gotta say, any feedback, whatever, follow me on Instagram at Reese Physique, R U I Z P H Y S I Q U E, or reach out to me on Twitter, J R U I Z F I T, J Reese Fit. Um, you can go ahead, and, it's gonna be on YouTube. Like it, share it, do whatever you gotta do. Peace out. Wait, what instruments did you play? I played the flute. <laughs> I really wanted to play the drums. Can you still play the flute? So we could have like a fluke on the album. Yeah. You know, I, I did the, the 9 to 5, I did the uh, 401k, all that great shit. And I started doing life. I mean, a house, we got a dog, we had all the things that you're supposed to do. And then we were just doing life. And like, as we were doing it, I was like, I, I always thought, like, this feels fucking stupid. Bullshit and I go way back Life's a bitch, so this is payback And no fucks given, I can say that All the time, I pray for that Stop fucking around, you better save that You better save that I bottle lightning, bag thunder My standard is the A wonder So it's no wonder I came back Never come, take that Motherfucker, I said take that Who said it's all this motherfucker, slow down I don't want a single person that I have to look at Yes I want to do this, can I do this? Fuck you, I do what I want. I don't care if you like me, ride or die with my crew. I do what I want, I got nothing to prove. I love this shit, I love this shit, I love this shit. No, 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 nothing to prove. Up and I'll show you a fool. That's the truth. Show me a leash and I'll break all the rules. Yeah, cause permission is wishing that bitches would listen. But my mission is killing. I kill everything. My mental is vicious. So vicious. I do what I want, never give a fuck. This verse is my hit list. Middle fingers in the fucking air if you with this. Can I get a fucking witness? I love this shit. I love this shit. I love this shit. Nothing to prove
feeling? How are we feeling? Good? Feeling good. Good, good, good. Feeling good, boys. <laughs>